Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to look at an exciting ROM. The reason I use the term exciting is because we're going to talk about Corvus OS based on Android 11. Now I have used Corvus extensively when it was on Android 10 with the OSS vendor but this is Android 11 and I'm going to have a first look at it. So we're going to install the ROM, I'm going to show you the step by step procedure to install it and we will also see what are the highlights of this particular ROM. But before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. We do have an amazing telegram channel with a discussion group as well. So the link for that is mentioned in the description. You can join us there as well. And if you wish to support the channel, you can hit the join button and subscribe to our monthly plans as well. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. <music> Now to begin with, it is Corvus OS official Android 11. So that is something nice, updated on the 14th of November. So recent build and if we have a look at the ROM change log, they have merged and changed quite a lot of things. Now we are at a stage for, you know, the K20 Pro wherein Android 11 ROMs have you know, gotten to the basic functionality wherein you can use them as a daily driver, but they are going on adding features and customizations and stuff like that. So let's begin with the flashing process. But before that, let me tell you the usual warnings. You need to have more than 50% battery. The method, the approach that I have to flash custom ROMs on any device for that matter is to back up all the important information and do a format data because I prefer a clean install and that actually gives you a very, very good experience. So please make sure you've backed up all your data you will need an unlocked bootloader with twrp installed you will need the firmware vendor file for the k20 pro you will need the rom and you will need the g apps everything is linked in the description now considering that you have everything ready we will reboot to recovery or twrp whatever you want to call it so to do that as always press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the boot logo and as always my favorite recovery over here orange fox works really really well as you can see we are in the recovery and the first thing that we will do as always is go to manage partitions data tick mark format data yes and select this now as i said this wipes everything on your internal storage so please be very very careful before you do that and once this is done go back to the home screen reboot and select recovery now go to wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage. We won't be wiping USB storage because that is where our files are. All right, so once you've wiped everything, let's go ahead and start flashing. So first we will select the vendor, which is 12.0.3.0, then add to queue and select Corvus. And then again, add to queue and select G apps. That is the 11 G apps. Now this entire flashing process will take anywhere between three to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see, everything has been flashed. So wipe cache and reboot system. So we're gonna boot for the first time in Corvus 11. Let's see if there is anything different. I have seen a few ROMs based on Android 11 for the K20 Pro and the other one, the Pocophone F1 as well. Uh, the boot animation looks very, very interesting. This is something different so yeah looks promising let's wait for the rom to completely boot up all right and just like that we are on the home screen so let's put this brightness a little low and let's actually go to settings here we have successfully flashed as you can see it works perfectly fine and first impressions it is very very smooth that has been one of the highlights of all corvus os roms this is a november security patch and uh, yeah that bug is still there wherein it says 5 gb 128 gb i don't know why but it's there and it's a relatively recent build. So there should be all the features included in this. Now, if we have a look, we do have the Ravens Liar, which was there in the initial Android 10 version as well. But as you can see, uh, not all the features of customization are added over here. Some important and critical features which are required to be available for customization are added to Corvus OS based on Android 11. Now, I do see that in this change log and stuff, they did mention that most of the things are actually working. So if we go to say Wi-Fi calling and stuff like that, that is working because it is available and you can easily go ahead and enable it. Now, apart from this, let's have a look at the number of apps that are supplied. There are just, 
like 12 applications so that is always a welcome addition youtube vanced is included and as always it's a very very basic camera so that's there for namesake now apart from this the first impressions look very very nice very honestly because android 11 roms for the k20 pro have gotten to a point wherein you can almost daily use them if you don't mind losing a lot of features but first things first you know i would request you to wait for a couple of weeks because next week i'm going to be reviewing a lot of roms for the k20 pro and the pocophone f1 for now this was a quick and easy way of how to install corvus os based on android 11 for the redmi k20 pro until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye